Gosh, you're starting with hard questions. Um, <laughs> probably 30 years in one way or another. All right, so so when you get to UT, like, and, and you, whatever, you, you get your job here, do you uh, do you get to decide, like, what kind of classroom you're teaching in, like a, a, like a small classroom versus a giant lecture hall? Or? No, I, I don't teach classes. I don't teach really large classes, mm -hmm. so I don't get a lecture hall, but I don't get to choose. You don't get to choose like that? I mean, the classes are uh, pretty much assigned to me, and they have a, a, a cap on uh, number of students. And so, like, my freshman writing is 23, and my American Lit, it's 35. Mm -hmm. um, so I never have, like, a 200-people 200 200 class or anything like that. So, But I don't choose the classrooms there. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm um, a doctoral student in the clinical psychology program. Um, and we're given the option to either teach or go on placement externally, like at a hospital or something like that in our third year. Um, and I chose to teach because I was very interested in it. Um, so that's why I'm doing that this year. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I guess I get to choose kind of how I want to teach and what methods to use and, um, but in terms of class size, I didn't, no, I didn't really get to choose. Um, yeah. Would you prefer teaching like a smaller class or a, I guess cause in, in, you're mm -hmm. in psychology so you probably have to teach a larger. Well I did teach in the summer it was a small class there were okay. 18 students um, and I enjoyed that because I got to know all the students better on a more personal level and I remembered everybody's names and right now I, with 157 I don't think I can remember all of those names. Yeah. I've gotten better but yeah. Um, I would say I do like the small class because it you're able to get more involved um, with students, but the big class is also fun in a way. I guess since you're like new to this, do you ever get like nervous in front of the yeah. big lecture hall? Um, I remember the first day I walked in, I was like, holy crap. Um, yeah. I wasn't, I, I don't think I've ever spoken in front of that many people. Um, I get more excited than nervous now, because um, I really like the material, obviously. I have changed uh, over the years and I just try to kind of get a gauge of students and what they will sort of like react to. Sometimes I'll bring in different kinds of examples, different kinds of, of tools to use in class. Uh, the department has a certificate kind of program and so in that program they've asked us to go to some workshops that talk about teaching styles and different learning styles of students. So we know that some students really respond well to lectures. We know that some students really respond well to activities. Some students respond well when they do things like they flip the classroom. So we would have a class where there'd be a lecture online and you would view the lecture online and then you would come to class and we would do activities and so on and so forth. Okay, I'm Elizabeth and I'm a freshman and my favorite class is English because it's a smaller class and we work in groups and it's easier to hear everybody else's opinion. And... Okay, I'm Zach Aiken. I'm a sophomore at the University of Tennessee. I prefer small classroom settings because uh, it's easier to get one-on-one -on -one with the professor and uh, it's more comfortable with other students that we can kind of like interact and learn in that way and I feel like I'm a pretty balanced learner I can learn I can there's a lot of different ways I can learn things so visually or aud 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 <laughs> my ears or just by doing hands-on so yeah that's hi I'm Chloe and I'm a freshman and my favorite class is psychology with Chandra Feltman, and it's kind of a bigger class, but she's really good at keeping us engaged because we get to watch a lot of fun videos with good examples. All right, my name is Morgan White. I'm getting my master's in business analytics right now, and I, uh, I prefer smaller classrooms because there's more intimate setting with your professor, and I, I believe that developing a relationship with your professor can really uh, help foster your 
your own um, education and, and help you build connections for the future.